Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing the tutorial on how to use traffic rep C. Uh, the reason why I'm actually making this is because my friend Rouse gets a lot of like reports saying how do you do this, how do you script, all that stuff. So today I'm going to be helping out my boy and teaching you guys how to actually use traffic rep C. So before I start any of this, please subscribe bro. I only have like what 10 subscribers or something so please hit that subscribe button I'm gonna be trying to make more shit uh, not like this but you know hacking videos perhaps and yeah so we're on Sigma as you can see and we're gonna cheat you out to use trafficker so this is what the interface looks like there is general botting settings and about we're gonna start with general because that's where you basically initiate the bots so sorry if I do any mistakes this could be like a one take video so basically this general tab is used to connect the bot to a server so I'm going to explain each stuff one by one so you know how to actually use it so first things first is the username the username is used when you're logged into the server so for example I'm logged into this server with the name XOZXQ so we're gonna put that there we're not actually gonna put XOZXQ so we're just gonna put we're just gonna leave it if you leave it it will generate like a random name pretty much and you can also see here that you can generate legit names which in my opinion isn't really that legit it's, it looks a little too weird but you know it works anyway uh, but yeah, you can put legit, then put underscore salt, which will <laughs> which will generate four random letters. Um, but yeah, that basically generates a name. So we're just gonna leave it blank because it will just generate random names, and you'll see that when they connect. Um, the next thing is off type. So if you're connecting this to a server that doesn't have slash register or doesn't need a cracked account like it needs a premium account then you want to click on this and you want to put Microsoft so when this happens it will basically like give you like a little code that you have to use in um, Microsoft authentication so Trafficker MC can actually use it so uh, we aren't doing Microsoft today we're gonna be doing cracked because that's what most people will probably gonna be going for and the next thing is the server address so in here you'll have to put the server address of the server that you're going to be using traffic MC on so in this one we're going to be using uh, Rouse SMP uh, it's not done yet as far as I know but we're just going to be using it for the purpose of this video uh, so I'm just going to paste the IP in here and you can select the version here so usually it will be in version auto which will probably work but you could change it to all the way down to like 1.8 and all the way up to 1.19.3 um, so that's the version that traffic currently supports as of version 2.1 so you can see up here uh, so we're just gonna leave it uh, 1.18.2 because this is uh, multi-server um, next thing is the max account so this is the amount of accounts that you want to put into the server so you don't want to be an idiot and put like 900 this this will not happen because of your network that's unrealistic you want to think right so what we're going to do here is we're going to add eight accounts all right a decent number you know uh, we don't need like 900 billion because that will clearly not work and even if that did work your network would be crying um, so yeah just keep that in mind please uh, so we're gonna put eight accounts you know pretty decent number now next is the join delay this is very very important to actually buy in a server this is what most people get wrong because they usually put like 10 and expect it to work right so I'm actually gonna give you a little preset here if you are running and uh, if you're going after an Atronaut server you're probably best with 7000 join delay it's gonna look slow but trust me it will work so basically every seven seconds a bot will join now the reason why this is 7000 is because it's under milliseconds so 
is there there's an easy way to convert this to like seconds so just put the amount of seconds you want so we're just gonna do five or seconds and we're gonna add zero 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 three zeros and there goes your join delay it's all done now the join message is the message that it will send upon joining the server now you don't really need to use this if if you want you can use it of course so in here we're just gonna type register test test so it can actually register onto the SMP once you have all that filled in you can click start once you click start it will bring you here and you can see that my account is updating because it's under the same IP and you can see it does also registering which is pretty good uh, so now you can see that the bots are connected and if we look here that's our bots right there for some reason it does not have a head and some are floating but that shouldn't be a problem all right so now we have the bots in we can finally do some things okay so we're just gonna wait until all of them connect so I believe that's one two three four five six seven eight Okay, that's all of them connected. So you can see now um, it's spamming my chat with this person has many accounts. So now, as we have the bots, we can actually start doing stuff with the bots. So first things first, I want to quickly clarify that for the stuff to work, you need to select all the bots or some by clicking on them. Now, what would happen if you don't do this? Let's say you want to say hello, you click send, it will say no bot selected and people will usually try to send it and be like, it doesn't work, how do you get the bots to chat? Okay, so what you want to do is you either want to click the bots that you want it to chat or s click on this button which will get all of them. Now, once we have all of, all of them selected, you can click hello, you can click send and now they said hello. You know, they're actually communicating in the chat. That's surprising for most people. Now, I'm going to be going through the um, features one by one. So, first is the controls. This is like to manage the bots basically. So you can use, you can disconnect them, you can reconnect them, use how, close window, and start script. We're gonna touch on this uh, a little later into the video. But basically, what disconnect does, it just disconnects them from the server. Um, and reconnect basically disconnects them and puts them back. So if we click on reconnect, you can see all of them close down. But they try to join back, but as we join back around the same time, it will say sockets closed. So these are just basically nothing. So now that's happened, we'll have to um, reconnect them or not we'll just have to wait until these disappear uh, but yeah you you want to keep that in mind that uh, reconnecting all of them at once may just cause that unless you have that prevented uh, but there's actually a way to bypass this and it's in the settings we'll touch that in a little later so while we'll wait for the bots to disconnect which will take a long ass time I'm going to go through the features. So first we have spam. So this basically spams the message that you want. So this also has anti-spam. So once you click this, it will just say a bunch of random letters after the message. So it can prevent things like anti-spam from getting you. Um, so you can choose the message here. For example, we'll just put test. As of course, none of the bots are on right now. I believe the service having a little autism, so I'm just gonna kick them real quick. Bear with me for a minute. I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this. There you go. So now if I reconnect them, and I'm just gonna quickly use this feature. Uh, linear is basically like the delay between each bot so you can bypass. I'm just gonna put 500 there, I'll touch on it a little bit. I'm just gonna reconnect them. So you can see now they're they're coming back and I have to log in with all of them. So let's just quickly do that. 
I believe the password was test, yeah. Okay. So one of them logged in. Doesn't want to send a message. Alright, okay. Alright, we're gonna disconnect this one. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna disconnect them. Alright, we're just gonna put new bots in instead. Bear with me with a minute. Uh, but yeah, don't do the same mistakes that I've done, alright? So, basically, this linear thing is the delay between each bot. So I've already mentioned that. But this is actually super useful for things like reconnecting, disconnecting, all that stuff. It is actually very useful. Uh, so, I do recommend using this if you're like spamming or reconnecting the bots and all that. Uh, but now, we're going to continue on spam once these all connect. I believe that's enough. I think it's one more, right? Yeah, one more. So, once we have all the bots selected, we can start spamming. So, spam delay will do 1,500. So, that's like 1.5 seconds. And we're also going to have the anti-spam. You're going to see what it does, right? Once we click start, you can see that's now spamming. Um, I have no cheap plus insults, so it might just tell them to fuck off. But you never know. So that's that's basically spamming right there, All right? And that's with anti-spam. If we have turned off anti-spam, then no cheap plus is gonna have a go at them. Maybe. Okay, never mind. But yeah, that's that's testing right there. Sorry, that's spamming right there. Um. And we can also change the delay. So if I put this to 3000, it will be two times slower. So you can see it's now slower than before. But it still works. Next thing is the set hot bar slot. So this basically sets the hot bar slot for any bot. So like if we put this to 9 and we click set, basically the bot's perspective will be like this. It's holding this right now and then once I click it set it will s set here and if I set it to like 5 it will set here in the middle my assumption but yeah you can see it works basically uh, well not really I have to like give them stuff and you can see but they work trust me it works next thing is this click window so we don't really use this unless we're in an inventory it would tell you if you're in an inventory if something's here so, I'm pretty sure I have a pseudo, right? Yeah. So, what inventory can I do? I think I could do chat color, I believe. GUI. Ah, uh, yes. So, we're going to pseudo star to do this. Okay, well. There you go. So, now. Okay. Um, let's just uh, skip that. So yeah, you basically use this whenever you're in the inventory. So if I go to the documentations, which every single one of you should go to if you really stuck. So this is basically like the window slots right here. So this is for the inventory and this is for the chest. This is large chest, uh, but it works similar with a small chest. But basically, that's all the IDs. So if you want to click 49 then you go here you type in 49 you can either choose left click or right click and you click now it wouldn't work because I'm not in the inventory but yeah that's basically how it works next is the control move so this basically controls the bots where they move and all that so we can go forwards which I'll actually just go here and just do like here you could click start and you can see they moved forward if we click backwards, then it will start going backwards. If we click left, start, we'll go left. If we did right, it go right. If we do jump, then all of them will start jumping. If we click stop, it will stop all of the jumping. And we can also do sneaking. You get it, right? This is pretty useful for like if you want to move the bots around. Next up is the look. So it will basically look at a certain direction. As of right now, you can't really move like like custom. It will be in four directions: either here, 
here, here, or here. So this is like, uh, we can't open up F3 because of my recorder. But you can see if I set the direction to north, it will turn back, it will turn there because it's north. If we put south, it will look back at the same direction it was before. If we click east, then it will look east. If we click west, then it will go to 360, or not 180, then it just looks there. Pretty simple, right? It's, it's simple to get. Next is the drop. So this basically drops items. So if I give star, let's say dirt, we gave everyone a dirt, right? Now uh, we can do empty and it will chop all the items. So if I click chop, you can see it chopped all the dirt that I gave them. Alright? If I did it like two times, so if I did like inventory slot two, uh, one. Has it chopped any? Okay. But yeah, you can basically like, oh no, I'm an idiot. Uh, my bad. So if we do 81, it should just dropped. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> my bad. Okay, 36, and you can see it chops, and if we do 37, should also chop. And that was my site for people who are in the Discord call. Um, but yeah, you can see you can chop items using this instead of the large chest. Don't do the same mistakes I do. Next is anti-AFK. So, if you have a server, if you're on a server that has anti-AFK, well, like, if it, if it kicks you for AFK, you can click start. Uh, basically, what it would do, it will make the bots like do random things. It will jump, it will look all around, it will start hitting out nowhere. Uh, just to prevent AFK kicks, alright? So this is pretty useful if you have a server that AFK kicks the bots and you wanted to stay there for some reason. Uh, and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just start if you want and stop if you want. Some of them will still be doing it because I did it two times. There you go. And the last thing here is Kalora. So, uh, I don't think this Kalora would actually bypass any anti-cheat. But we are on no cheat plus, so we're going to see how that works. So if we just go to the PvP arena, which I hope actually allows PvP. What is going on here? Okay, so let's TP all of them here. Okay, TP all... What is this doing? TPO XZXQ. What? Okay, never mind then. But yeah, if we uh, look at them, it should. Right? If we look at all of them, it should. Okay, give me a second, bro. Alright. So now, if we turn on Kalora, if we actually move this around, so we can actually do anti AFK and do control move forward and start and then stop you can see now they're in random positions we're just gonna keep doing that in hopes that they don't fall to the water all right that's pretty decent so now if we turn on Kalora and uh, make sure we have a range by the way so this is like I assume three four five six seven eight yeah, so like a one two three four but yeah it's definitely one to three one to six uh, and we can also choose the delay. Default will be 500 ms. So this is like the delays between hits, basically. And we can also make a look at targets. So this is basically like silent rotations, sort of. And we can also choose things that we want to target. So we'll just turn these on. And you can see that some of them will be hitting each other. And you can see it also says, hey, you can't PvP here. If we do like... 10 ms, which is like 20 ms basically. You can see it will be more frequent. Yeah, you can see now it's starting to spam by um, <laughs> my chat. So if I do like 50, then it will still be fast. Okay, let's try 100. Yeah, it's it's semi working. Alright. Uh, you can see it's, it is flagging the anti-cheat though, so as I said, if you have a decent config, it will work. But you can see there, it basically, um, you can, it will look at the targets, but if we like turn this off, 
and turn off like this for a second so it looks around yeah it should be decent okay now if we like do that then yeah you will see it will flag down to cheat so if you want to bypass no cheat plus then just do this I'm using updated no cheat plus but I'm pretty sure it will work on regular no cheat plus but yeah you can see it, it works so now we can finally move on to settings we are already 20 minutes into the recording so let's make this quick first thing linear we already discussed this but yeah it's pretty useful auto reconnect so if I say disconnect the, one of the bots so we have this on let's kick around the bot so let's just do this we're gonna kick this bot it will instantly join back basically and I think it might be telling us to log in but I'm not entirely sure okay yeah it will tell us to log in let's just quickly fix that there you go now you can see I kicked one of the bots but they joined back this is because of auto reconnect so if you just do randomly get kicked out of nowhere from the server not from like uh, so like let's say this is uh, a server and if you get kicked to hub this will not do anything it's only if you're disconnected from the entire server then it will attempt to join back basically that's what it does next is sprinting so this basically allows the bots to sprint so if I go back to control move you can see that they're gonna be sprinting now one of them just went to the water so let's hope that bot doesn't get kicked maybe they fix that next thing is script file now there's actually also a bunch of kids that's like uh, can you give me script file so I can do stuff with the bot and then you know Rouse usually is the one that responds to these are gonna be like okay make your own script and then the kids are gonna be like how do I script so I'm gonna teach you out the script alright what you wanna do is you wanna look for the documentations all right, it's gonna it's gonna seem hard, but when you're in here, so when you're in GitHub, it will probably look like this. It will look different a bit. You want to go down, and until you see scripting, you want to click on it. And it will basically give you all the features that you can do, and it also gives you code examples. Most of them should give you code examples, along with some doc, along with some help. So what you can do, what you have to do, is you just go to start you want to go on notepad right um, I might have to blur that out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little script alright so it gives it a quick example here which says hello or hi it will wait one second it will click a random thing from the inventory then it will wait five seconds then disconnect you can actually modify this so if I like do chat hi and then delay a hundred uh, we can do chat hello delay 100 reconnect now I actually assumed that Rouse actually did that yeah so if we do reconnect then yeah it will not I don't know what the, if that's actually true so we can actually save this like normally so we can just put this on my thing we don't need any like special um, how do I call them extensions so that's our script right there so we can go click on this so it, it actually works you know it will actually run the script and then we're gonna click on choose file and we're gonna go to ta desktop and run click on this new one and now we have a script once we go on botting we can actually start the script from here as I mentioned earlier you can see it all of them says hi all of them says hello and then they reconnect with some delay of course and now I've just basically fucked them bots over you can see he's gonna try to keep reconnecting so I'm just gonna just hope that stops okay never mind alright now I just got kind of bricked my own traffic MC but that's basically how a script works right next things first is the account file so this is what you would use if you want multiple like accounts with different names from let's say name MC if you want like legit names so you can basically do the same thing you want to go back to notepad we'll make a new script and we could just put random names so we're gonna do 
uh, one, two, three. And we're gonna do four, five, six. And we're gonna do test seventy nine. We're gonna save this to desktop as well. Let's just random ass characters. And we can now go to account file, choose file, and we can go for the new script that we just put in when I was like account file. So we're actually gonna close this now. And now um I think these bots are still reconnecting, so I might just have to restart Trafficker. Just bear with me for a minute. Let's go, amazing tutorial. <laughs> Anyways, I got a new Trafficker MC. So, why the fuck does that happen? Alright, so now I'll show you how the account files look like. Again, that's me from Discord. So, we're gonna just get that. Now you can see once I start and don't put any usernames, you can see one to three joined, and you can see that join message is also working. And four five six joined, and now test seven eight nine will join. That's how account files basically work. Um, next thing is proxy. Now this is important if you want to basically have different IPs for each bot. I'm not going to demonstrate this because I don't have any proxies with me as of right now. But it's usually the same process. You will just put a bunch of like IPs here. So let's say this is a proxy mm. right here. This is a proxy with the port. Actually, no, I don't think it has ports. And a couple more proxies after that. There you go. We'll basically save this and we'll put it to the proxy and we have proxy we can also do random proxy order which will just select random proxies from the file so if you want to do that you can do that and you also have to choose the proxy type so only allows socks 4 and 5 so if these IPs are socks 4 then you do socks 4 otherwise socks 5 if it's like HTTP then you can't really use them I'm not gonna test that because these are actually not real IPs. So, yeah. Next thing is the app settings. No one really cares about these, but you can have connect, disconnect, other sounds. I I don't really recommend doing this to be honest. It's kind of eerie. So, you can also do themes as well, but who gives a shit, right? And the about section just tells you about Trafficker. You know the offer version, all that stuff. And that's really it for Traffic MC. That's like an advanced tutorial on how to use it. And I just got kicked because I haven't logged in. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, I guess. If you like this tutorial and want more like this, then fuck you because I'm not doing this shit again. But yeah, I, I really hope you guys can finally stop annoying rattles because stuff don't work. Because if stuff don't work, you just don't follow the tutorial. Either that, or I'm a dumbass and I did something wrong. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>